Yeah. Give them lots of love, lots of support for Ian Hayes, everybody. Yeah. Well, good evening, Banbury. Um, I, I, I hoped to come out here nice and loud, but it's a little bit intimate, isn't it? And uh, I'm not too sure that should happen. Um, yes, this is my second ever gig. A um, little bit excited, a little bit nervous. Couldn't wait to get back on stage again. I had a fairly successful attempt at uh, going past my comedy virginity. A um, bit more successful my actual virginity, I, you know, I went the whole six minutes. Um, <laughs> and I actually got laughter, actually on both occasions, come to think of it. Um, so, yes, here I am, um, nervous, um, of course, you can tell that. I thought I'd overdress just to try and cover up the fact that I'm a bit nervous. And I, thought it'd be, I thought it'd be my eyes that would give it away. Am I looking all right? Be sure. I love your style. <laughs> you love my style? Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really do. Now, eyes give everything away. Eyes are so important. Um, you can tell a lot uh, by someone by looking into their eyes. Um, once upon a time, I, I used to be a uh, self-defence instructor for the prison service. A really cool job. Okay, and a big part of that job was uh, teaching non-verbal communication, eye contact being one of them. Now, um, to give you some kind of idea, um, in conflict, if you look down to the ground too much, you appear inferior, like someone you, someone who cannot deal with the situation. Look at someone too much, you're going to get smacked because you're like a sex offender. It's as simple as that. <laughs> um, now, I used to think that I could teach uh, correct eye contact in any given situation or location. Um, and I really thought that until one occasion recently, um, the men's urinals. Doesn't work. Um, now, it's funny you should mention COVID earlier. Um, something that's come about from COVID is the introduction of these posters in the toilets. I notice it doesn't happen in this toilet. Um, but in a lot of urinals, um, you'll have a, a tick and a cross and a tick and a cross where you can stand where you can't stand. Okay, so person can stand at the urinal, blank space, person can stand at the urinal. To be fair, back in my day, that used to be called urinal etiquette. You didn't need those posters. <laughs> Everyone knew. And there was a simple reason why that was. Spray back. Okay, ladies, if you don't know what spray back is, go and stand in that blank space at the urinals. I promise you, you'll soon find out. Um, and what's worse than... <laughs> And what's worse than spray back is someone else's spray back. Okay? That's, that, that happened. That happens. The worst offenders for the urinals never used to be the individual ones. It used to be the long trough looking things. Okay? They were the worst. The only way, way that you could prevent yourself from getting your own spray back is if you kind of calculated your trajectory over there somewhere. <coughs> Didn't work when other people had stood there. I have to say that. Not too, not too popular in the toilet. Um, so... The other thing, of course, about Sprayback is I'm a 90s kid. I'm someone from the 90s. I, I wasn't born in the 90s, clearly. Um, I, I, was, I, I went out in the 90s, and the 90s were all about chinos and grey trousers. All right? Now, if you got Sprayback on those, you were underneath the hand dryer for 10 minutes. I'm telling you that now. Pressing the button, trying to dry your trousers out. Apologising to every single person that walked through the toilets and trying to make it clear that you're not trying to hunt the fucking thing. Seriously. So, um, yes, I found myself in the, in the toilets recently. I didn't just find myself, I actually needed a wee. Uh, but I got myself to the urinals, and, um, um, and uh, of course, uh, the, 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 the urinals were taken, the, the, the ticks were taken, the crosses were vacant, as you would expect. But I was desperate for the toilet. So I've got two options break the code or use the cubicles. Now, the cubicles were taken. There is a third option. I choose not to use this one too often, and that's pissing in the sink. <laughs> okay, the problem with, with myself pissing in the sink, I'm vertically challenged and the sinks are actually uh, of a reasonable height. I look like one of those garden gnomes trying to piss into the pond. So it'd have to get the trajectory into the sink. That's what I would look like. So I don't do that, okay? So I had to do it, I had to break the code. Bad decision. I'm gonna be honest with you now, it was a bad decision. I walked in between two gentlemen, and uh, instantly apologised. Sorry, lads. I knew I was in the wrong. I shouldn't have broken the rules. I was an ex-prison officer. I should know all about rules. But I broke the rules, stepped in there. Apologised. This guy just turned and looked at me. How did I know he looked at me? Because I looked at him. Why did I look at him? I shouldn't. I should be looking down. I should be looking ahead. Not to my side. I noticed him looking at me. And he's just looking at me. Okay. I apologised. I don't know why you're looking at me. So I looked at the other guy next to me, why? He's not going to give me moral support. What am I doing that for? 
Um, and he's doing exactly what he should be doing, looking ahead. He can sense what's going on to his left. He can sense his head, oh, twat. Don't, you should, one, you shouldn't have been there. Two, you shouldn't be looking at the other guy. <sighs> right, how am I going to get out of this one then? Right, just continue looking in front. No, I didn't, did I? I looked to the side again. He's still staring at me. Okay, how do I get out of this one? A confident way to deal with eye contact in, the, in conflict is to look at someone and then avert your gaze and then look back at them, okay? So I did that, bearing in mind he's looking towards me. I look at him, avert my gaze, I look at his cock. <laughs> That's how you wind someone up. So I'm like, right, I'm going to have to get ready for this one because he's going to kick off for me any second now. I've really fucked this one up, okay? So anyway, I do myself up, start thinking about backing away. He starts doing the same, I'm thinking it's on. He's still staring at me, I'm thinking it's on. Okay, I'm a prison officer, I'm a control and restraint instructor. I can work this out, I can read things, I know this is gonna go off. I take a step back, he takes a step back. I look at him, he's still looking at me, he looks away. He turns towards me, unfolds his white stick, he's fucking blind. I'm looking at a man with a blind, a blind man with his cock in his hand, while I've got my cock in his hand, thinking he's about to get aggro. <laughs> Listen, moral of the story, stick to the fucking rules, don't break the code, and stay away from those red X's and the urinals. Thank you very much, Bambri, you've been amazing. Ian, how are you doing, everybody? Second ever time I said, give another round of applause. <laughs>